Hi again, this is your Connect Guru with part three of our four part series on using audio in an Adobe Connect meeting room. In part one, we talked about how to set up audio providers and audio profiles on the Connect server. In part two, we covered how to use a computer microphone to broadcast audio. In this portion, we're going to discuss the use of integrated audio conference services with Adobe Connect. You may remember from watching part one of this series that integrated audio means that the host can control the audio conference by using controls inside the Connect meeting room. To use integrated audio, the first thing you have to do is make sure the meeting room is set up to use an integrated audio profile. This happens in Connect Central, the web interface that we use to manage Adobe Connect. It's best to set the audio profile when you create the meeting room. Although you can also come back later, go to Edit Meeting Information, and set the audio profile. When you change the audio profile for an existing meeting room, it sometimes takes a while for the change to take effect. So make sure you check this well before it's time to have your online meeting. Inside the meeting room, when you use the audio menu to start meeting audio, you'll also need to make sure the Using Phone checkbox is checked. Remember, the Start Broadcasting Telephony Audio checkbox only needs to be checked if you want attendees to hear the audio conference on their computer speakers. By the way, this also allows attendees who are listening on the phone to hear those who are broadcasting audio via a computer microphone. Click Start to get Connect to establish a connection to the telephone conference. This brings up our Join Audio Conference dialog box so I can select the way I want to participate in the audio portion of the meeting. Also, keep in mind that when you start the audio conference, all attendees see this dialog box. Let's close the Join Audio Conference dialog box for a moment so we can see what Connect is doing. When we start the meeting audio, Adobe Connect automatically connected to the audio conference and a phone connection was added to the attendees pod. That's Connect. It's already connected to the telephone conference bridge and is just waiting for the moderator to join the call. When the moderator joins, that connection will disappear from the attendees pod. Now let's go back to the Join Audio Conference dialog box by selecting Connect My Audio from the menu next to the audio icon in the application bar. For integrated audio, the first option is the best. This has the conference bridge place a call to the attendee. The attendee would simply enter the telephone number where they can be reached and click the Join button, and the audio conference will call the attendee. The only problem with this option is when the attendee can only be reached by dialing an extension number. If that's the case, you would want them to use the second option. The second option is for those who will dial the number of the conference bridge themselves. Here we see all the info we need in order to join the conference bridge, the phone number, the participant code, if you're a host, you'll see a moderator code, and there's a token code. What does the token code do? I'll show you in just a minute. To use the second option, I'll dial the number and enter the participant code, and look what happens. Connect lists my name that I logged in with, but it lists my telephone connection separately down below. That's because when you dial in to the telephone conference, Connect doesn't know which of the logged in users should be associated with that telephone connection. There are a couple of ways to create an association between the user's name and the telephone number. First, and easiest for the host, is for the user to enter their token code. Remember the token code? We saw it in the Join Audio Conference dialog box. If you don't remember it, you can go to the Information menu at the upper right of the meeting room and click View Info under Dial in Detail. And there is your token code. When I use the keypad on my phone to dial the token code, Notice that my phone number has disappeared from the attendees pod and I now have a telephone icon next to my name. When I speak, the icon changes to show that I'm talking. When I'm on hold, it's a different icon. And also, when I'm muted,
and you probably noticed that I can place users on hold or mute them using the controls in the attendees pod. I can also control their volume, hang up on them, or ask connect to call them. By the way, you probably remember that one of the options for joining the audio conference was to have Connect call the attendee. When you use that option, Connect will automatically associate the correct user with the telephone connection. In addition, the host can manually associate the phone number with the attendee in the attendees pod. You can either drag the number up to the attendee's name and click the Merge With pop-out menu, or you can click the phone number and hold the control key down while clicking the attendee's name. And again, click the Merge With pop-out. After the audio conference is started, you can use the audio menu to stop meeting audio, change meeting audio mode, which brings up the same dialog box we saw when starting meeting audio, stop or start audio broadcast, Audio broadcast is when the audio is being delivered to the attendees through their computer speakers. Call a new user and grant or deny microphone rights for participants. Normally, only presenters and hosts have rights to use their computer microphone. Another thing to remember is that with an integrated audio connection, any recording will include the audio from the telephone conference. So that's pretty much it for integrated audio inside the meeting room. What about universal voice? How is that different? We'll get an answer to that question in the fourth and final part of our series.